great. Congratulations for Grace and Grit. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So uh, what initially attracted you to this emotional uh, film? <laughs> um, I, you know, it was a love story, but not a, a very conventional love story. It wasn't that traditional sort of boy meets girl and everything turns out great. And, you know, they get married and off into the sunset. Uh, it, was a, it was a very em mature, emotional, deep, heartbreaking love story. And uh, in my own personal life, I had sort of just come out of something not similar, but I was in the antithesis of that. And I really wanted to be in love. I really wanted to immerse myself and um and be in love in that moment and this was this incredible opportunity to to you know to also play real people um i i i, I read the script i thought it was a beautiful script i talked to the director i thought wow this guy has so much passion um he's going to do a great job with this but then i read the book and you know after that i was it was a whole other level really to to really you know, because a film, I think Sebastian's done an incredible job telling this film, but there's so much you have to leave out and from a book and um, when you adapt. So once I read the book, I was just in love with these two characters. They, they really are, they're heroes. They're really beautiful, beautiful people. And, and I wanted to, I was really honored to, to tell that story. By chance, did you have a chance to uh, speak or meet up with uh, Ken Wilbur? I haven't, I've never spoken to him yet, no. No, he, he, he's, quite, uh, he's quite reclusive. Um, but in a way, Sebastian, our director, was very close to him. So I felt like Sebastian was the conduit for Ken. And, you know, they're very close. There was, Ken had given his blessings for the film. Um, and in a way, I don't know if I wanted, you know, I don't know if I would have wanted to talk to Ken. It probably would have been too intimidating or, you know, I don't know. Because um, it's already scary enough to play a, a real life character but then to play one that's alive and might actually watch the film is another layer of oh my god um so no i, I never met him <laughs> i still haven't I'll never have never talked to him maybe one day maybe one day um how did you develop your chemistry for uh with amina um through, for this film well you don't develop it i mean i don't you know chemistry is one of those things it's either there or it's not um, as an actor, you can fake chemistry really uh, as much as you can. Um, but I think, you know, this is a very small budget. We had a few weeks to shoot. We had no rehearsal period. So when I met Treya, when Ken met Treya, Stuart met Mina. And in a way, you know, Sebastian shot it chronologically. So we had the, the beginning, the early romance and the love scenes uh, at the start of the shoot. So it was nice in a way me and Mina got to fall in love on camera and, and Sebastian wanted a lot of like spontaneous moments. So um, he, he kind of let us play a lot. And, and so we had just a really beautiful time together kind of in this, in this film. But I also, I just felt that both of us were really, just felt really blessed to be a part of the project. It really felt like it, it was a very special project. So we came in with, you know, sometimes you can be in a big studio movie and everybody's making a fortune and everybody's unhappy. And then sometimes you can be on a small, tiny movie that has heart and passion behind it and you're not getting paid anything. And that doesn't matter. It's the best time ever. And that, that was this movie. It was really just about, and that's the chemistry is in that, you know, it's in, it's in these two characters love for each other and in the story that we're telling. Excellent. Well, one more thing mm. you shape, you shave your head uh, for, for this film. What, what, what what uh what made you so agreeable to uh to do something like like this? Obviously, art, right? Well, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, obviously, art. No, <laughs> um, I didn't really want to because I thought if I you know if there's another job, I won't get it. I'll have to grow it back. Um, luckily, I I could grow hair back, which was nice. Um, but no, I mean, look, the hair is is you know we tried a ball cap. It didn't work. Not even close. And I thought am I going to sit in a chair for an hour and a half every day and do this? And, and do I really want to commit and be this guy? And so I just shaved it off. And it was a great moment because I went upstairs to Sebastian. And when he saw me, his, you know, he'd been with this project for years, just alone. And suddenly he's got the crew. It's the first day of shooting. 
and I saw him see Ken. He looked at me and he was like, oh my God, there's Ken. And, and so it was just a beautiful moment to know that, that everything was coming and all the pieces were falling together for Sebastian because he's really put so much heart and soul into this. Excellent. Well, hey, thank you uh, for bringing you this uh, beautiful movie. And I enjoyed this conversation, Sebastian. Uh, let's do it. Thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. Thanks, nice